This is Andy Perrault for Boxing Social and I'm delighted to be joined by the Head of Scottish Sports Boxing, Adam Smith. Adam, how are you? I'm very good. Very excited about another uh, great event that's been uh, announced and organised uh, for July the 20th. It's the heavyweight season, isn't it? We're, uh, we're excited to be doing the, the heavyweight match, even though it's not in that weight this Saturday in Vegas. Canelo and Jacobs, certainly the best matchup of the year, heavyweight in terms of you know, boxing uh, clashes. Um, and then the heavyweights themselves uh, really get going. You know, we've got Deontay Wilder on, uh, on May the 18th. We've got Alexander Usyk entering the division against Carlos Takam on the 25th. Then it's Anthony Joshua, June the 1st hoping to announce an opponent within the next uh, 24, 48 hours. And then, you know, Tyson Fury obviously fights June the 15th. And we fast forward to July 20th. Not only have you got a terrific fight, I believe, main event, Dillian White against Oscar Rivas, which is dangerous. Oscar Rivas is unheralded. I think he is a really good fighter. I've seen him uh, in the amateur and pros. I think he's really gone under the radar. Um, Dillian wanted a tough assignment. And he's got one. And then you add Alan Price to the mix. and. Um, Happy days. Great stuff. Obviously, to the British public, a lot of people won't know who Oscar Rivas is. What would you say to them in terms of what you know about him and how dangerous a fight this is for Dillian? I've spoken to Dillian a lot over the last six months about sort of who he should fight. You know, obviously, Anthony Joshua was one that was, you know, mooted for April. That didn't happen. Then we talked about Luis Ortiz and, and Povetkin, those sort of names. But when Oscar Rivas was mentioned to me a few weeks ago by, by Eddie, I, I just thought, you know what, that is, that's really interesting. You know? So yeah, you're right, in the trade, people know about him and certainly the other side of the pond they do. People don't know enough about him yet. We, it's our job to, to make sure people realize how, how difficult this is for Dillian. He is unbeaten, uh, he was a very good amateur, he's really fit, he's a very, very athletic heavyweight and he comes with huge ambition. I mean, Dillian White is, uh, is improving each and every time and uh, he's knocking on the door for that world title shot, but he's getting you know, bogged down by the politics and this is a potential banana skin. It really is. I think it's a tough fight for Dillian um, and I can't wait for it. And on the undercard, you just mentioned Dave Allen and David Price. A 50-50 fight, as people have called it, risky one for both, but one which whoever wins can go on to bigger and better things. It's the right fight at the right time for the pair of them. You know, David Price has been... Uh, getting a little bit of momentum back after some, some difficult losses. And he obviously still wants a, a part in this heavyweight picture um, with his punch power and uh, you know, his boxing ability. Uh, he certainly has. And if he could beat David Allen, then another couple of wins and suddenly people are talking about him in big fights again. This is a pretty big fight as it is with David Allen. You've never sort of known what you're going to get for, for months on end. But I think what he was, you know, he drove me mad for that main event uh, slot. He drove us all mad. But you know what? We went with it. We gave him his night and he had to deliver and he did. You know, he did against Lucas Brown in dramatic fashion. And if he knuckles down and works day in, day out with Darren now and we, you know, we get a business David Allen. I think what well, he's still only about 27. So there is time for him. Um, and he's got to prove it again with another tough fight. He's going to have hard fights because uh, that's what people will demand now. And uh, it's a great one, isn't it? You know, Price has got all the, the power and, 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 the, and the skills and that long jab and all the sort of the reach advantages. But something about David Allen that if you can knuckle down and get through maybe the early storm and put the pressure on Price, who knows? I think it's another terrific matchup. It's great. Two fights. You don't know who's going to win. I've seen some rumours of possibly a Parker Chisora about on the undercard. Is there anything that you know about that? Or? I don't. Um, Eddie's been in America uh, the last few days. I'm going out uh, tomorrow for the Canelo fight, so I'll talk to him. But um, not sure. I know Dillian White wants to pack as much as he can on the card. Uh, we'd like to see uh, uh, Parker and Chisora, of course. Um, you know, Derek had a, a difficult fight the other night and uh, one we all want to forget, I think. So let's get him back in the ring um, with the likes of Joe Parker. There's a lot of fighters, aren't there, um, sort of around, around, that, uh, around the heavyweight division who are not the top three or four and they're, and they're all sort of jostling for position to get into maybe a possible challenge. And, uh, you know, while that's happening, the merry-go-round of heavyweights, we want to see them all matched up. So, uh, so yeah, as I said, you know, the Usyk takam fight's really interesting. Michael Hunter's knocking around. There's, there's lots of them. So, yeah, I'd like to see Parker and Chisora as well. Just from gouging people's reaction to social media and the way that the first few months of the year has gone in terms of the boxing schedule, some fans haven't necessarily been pleased with the levels of the fights. Do you feel that this card needs to be stacked with the types of fighters that are going to be on it to justify the pay-per-view? 
I mean, we always look at Sky Sports box office events and make sure we, we believe that they are absolutely right for our customers, that they are packed. You look at the one last summer we had with Dillian and, and uh, Joseph Parker and Chisora and Takam. It was an incredible night, one night people are still talking about today. That's what we want. Um, so we look very carefully at that. But I think our spring and summer schedule on Sky Sports is terrific. We've just signed the World Super Series. We're, we're putting Josh Taylor out, a fighter I've wanted on Sky for a long, long time. Uh, on May the 18th, it's a great night. You've got Taylor, you've got Inoue, you've got Deontay Wilder. Uh, we're bringing to Sky Sports through the night. Then you've got Alexander Rusik after that, week after. Then you've got Anthony Joshua. Before all of that, you've got Canelo Jacobs. You've got a next gen with Jordan Gill, Lee Wood, and the new stars of, of the future. I think, um, I think the schedule looks great. And we work very hard to make sure that it is, uh, it is as best as we can make it for our customers. And finally, before I let you shoot off, your thoughts on Canelo Jacobs? I think it's a great fight. It's a super fight. Um, Canelo is always going to be difficult to beat in, in Vegas. You know, he's, uh, he's got so much uh, love, hasn't he? Mexican fans. He's got the power in many ways. And we just hope that Danny Jacobs is given an absolute fair shake of it if it goes to the cards. Um, I think it's Eddie thinks Daniel Jacobs is going to win. I know people on my team think Daniel Jacobs has got the boxing ability to really frustrate Canelo. Can he win it? Can he win it on the cards? Um, will he have to win it wide? Will he have to stop him? You know, Canelo's got to be favourite. He's got to be favourite because of his achievements and also because of the power that he has in the sport. But it is a super fight. And I think it's going to be 12 rounds of high, high quality action. And I hope we get the right result. And, um, you know, I... I possibly lean to Canelo slightly, but um, a lot of people are, are very hot on Danny Jacobs because of the style that he showed against Golovkin and the fact that he's, um, he could just upset uh, Canelo and, and, and not allow Canelo to get into the rhythm that he, he so loves. But I think it's a super fight and I think it's possibly the best matchup of the year. Well, Adam, I appreciate your time. I know you want to shoot off, so thanks for being to Boxing Social. No problem at all.